Perhaps this family compact van is one of the most emotional among its kind. What feelings can cause the operation of used seat Altia? Emphatically dynamic appearance with a graceful wave on the side walls of the body, expressive elongated eyes of the front optics and the smile of the air intake in the front bumper. Own driving performance, this is the recipe for cooking a peppered Spanish dish for family motorists called Seat Altia. This model is presented in three modifications, a compact van with a standard body length, an XL version extended by 190mm and a free track SUV based on it. The XL version, thanks to the enlarged luggage compartment, is more functional and arouses more interest among domestic motorists. In 2009, the entire family of this model was restyled, the front bumper and optics, tail lights and trunk lid changed a little, and a new steering wheel, radio and climate control unit appeared in the cabin. Cars received new power units. In this version, Altia Slash XL is still being produced. This model can be bought both new in car dealerships and used in the secondary market. Today we will evaluate the consumer qualities of pre-styling versions. Safe and practical experience has shown that Altia Slash XL bodies are highly resistant to corrosion. There are no complaints about the condition of the body parts. Moreover, the model is endowed with high passive safety. In 2005, according to the results of Euro NCAP crash tests, it received the maximum five stars. Due to the high bodywork, the Altia Slash XL interior feels very spacious. However, this is what it is, thanks to the sliding rear seats, there is enough legroom in the gallery even for tall people. In the cheapest versions of Altia, the seats do not move. With an excess of space and overhead, rear normally fit three passengers. Comfort is increased by adjusting the backrests in terms of the angle of inclination. Although they change their vertical position more, the presence of an armrest with cup holders, as well as folding tables in the backs of the front seats, available in more expensive modifications. The top pseudo off-road versions of the free track will also please with rich equipment, a long ceiling niche with many opening pockets for small things and a folding rear DVD screen. At the same time, there are claims to ergonomics, due to the protruding central armrest. When the rear seats are folded and shifted forward, they rest against the headrest, and to visibility, see photo. During operation, problems with power windows may arise, due to contamination of the guides, the glass does not rise to the end, the protection is activated, and it goes down again, the mechanism needs to be clean. On older cars, the power window cable may break on more commonly used front doors. Breakdowns of air conditioning compressors were also noted, and Freon can escape through filling valves that have lost their tightness. Altia and XL are the same in front, but in the back they can be distinguished by optics. The first has a short one, only on the wings, the second has a long one, goes on the trunk lid. Three petrol and two diesel units are offered for the Altia slash XL. The former are more common, although diesel versions are not uncommon. Of the gasoline engines, the most powerful 2.0-liter turbo gasoline engine, 200 horsepower, which was equipped with the free track versions, received the least distribution. The 2.0-liter TDI was also offered in Western Europe. The 2.0-liter turbo petrol engine, borrowed from the charged models of the VW Concern, Golf GDI, Leon Cupra, Octavia RS, gives the family compact car remarkable dynamics, accelerating it to the first hundred in just 7.5 seconds. This unit turned out to be trouble-free, it endures the increased loads of some excessively active free track drivers. There are no comments to the base gasoline engine 1.6L MPI, and its atmospheric counterpart 2.0L FSI can cause trouble. So, due to the quality of our fuel and the untimely replacement of spark plugs, failures of individual ignition coils were noted. Another problem is the breakage of the factory exhaust system corrugations, two pieces are used. According to factory recommendations, the timing belt with rollers and tensioner needs to be changed every 90,000 kilometers, but domestic experts advise reducing the interval to 60,000 kilometers. The fact is that on platform models with this unit, belt brakes occurred at runs up to 90,000 kilometers. When replacing it, it is also recommended to check the condition of the pump, it is driven by the timing belt. Both diesel units have proven themselves to be reliable. They are distinguished by good traction and high efficiency. With a quiet ride in the city, it is quite possible to meet the consumption of about 6 liters per 100. The exhaust system of all Altia XL works with bass, creating a perky mood and setting up for an active ride.
in a 5-speed manual gearbox used with a 1.6-liter engine, there are problems with shaft bearings, they can fail. During operation, problems with power windows may occur. Under the seat emblem is a button for the electric trunk release. Over time, the contact point wears out and the lock stops opening. Due to the wear of the button in the seat belt buckle, the onboard computer does not see the latch belt, and the buzzer is constantly beeping. There are problems most cars have front-wheel drive, and rare free-track versions are equipped with the 4x4 all-wheel drive transmission, similar to Volkswagen's 4Motion. It uses an electronically controlled Haldex clutch, which is blocked when the front wheels slip, transferring up to 50% of the torque to the rear. In general, the 4x4 transmission is reliable. For Altia XL, mechanical gearboxes, Diptronic, Automatic, and Robotic Mechanics DSG are intended, the least common. Of the mechanical gearboxes, a unit with five stages can create problems. It is possible for the shaft bearings, more often the secondary, to fail in it. The malfunction is manifested by increased noise during operation of the unit. In the rest of the gearboxes, no specific problems were identified. In a transmission with a DSG gearbox, used in tandem with a 2.0-liter turbo diesel, there are troubles with the dual mass flywheel, which can wear out prematurely. The malfunction is accompanied by characteristic metallic clicks when the gears are engaged. Unlike SAW platform models, Skoda and VW, the Altia XL chassis is noticeably stiffer, which is again done to please the peppered temperament of the model. This is achieved through the use of more rigid gum suspension and shock absorbers. Thanks to these settings, driving this compact van actively is a pleasure car obediently tumbles into turns even at a decent speed and allows you to accurately maneuver during quick lane changes without dangerous rolls of a high body. Structurally, the suspension is similar to other VW models, McPherson is used in front, and a multi-link in the back, three levers per wheel. Another advantage of the running is a good resource. In the front suspension, the rear silent blocks of the front levers wear out the fastest, after 80 to 100,000 kilometers and the front silent blocks can last 100 to 130,000 kilometers. Stabilizer struts run 90 to 100,000 kilometers. Bushings, much longer. Moreover, the latter rarely change. This is an expensive pleasure, since they only come complete with the stabilizer. In the rear suspension, the stabilizer struts most quickly become unusable. After 60 to 70,000 kilometers, its bushings serve up to 100,000 kilometers and the floating silent blocks of the rear trailing arms withstand 100 to 130,000 kilometers. The rubber bands of the remaining two levers have not yet been changed at domestic service stations. The cost of maintenance of the chassis is reduced by a separate replacement of consumables. The Altia XL steering is equipped with an electric power steering, which provides excellent information content and feedback. This node is reliable. On our roads, the tie rod ends wear out the fastest, but even they can withstand a mileage of 150 to 200,000 kilometers. There are no complaints about the braking system either. Seat Altia XL is a car for those who need a practical and functional vehicle that can be useful in a variety of household chores and at the same time not be boring. The peppered Spaniard can easily turn on drivers, delighting them with active driving and obedience. Altia XL turned out to be a moderately reliable car. If you pick up a trouble-free version, then the car will give pleasure for more than 1,000 kilometers.